I want to give you both the chance to make an opening uh, statement. So, Rabbi Shmuley, uh, you won the toss. We didn't really actually toss, but we both agreed you could do this. You go first. Your opening remarks. Thank you, Pierce, for having me. And Candace, thank you for debating me. I have spent my life bringing together the black and Jewish communities, emphasizing that we share not only a history of shared persecution, but of spiritual promise. Today, we debate an American tragedy, a woman of unique eloquence who has abused that eloquence to become simultaneously the foremost anti-black rhetorician in all of the United States and the foremost anti-Semite in America. The statements that Candace has made against her own community, that they cry wolf and constantly say that they're victims of racism. Her attacks on George Floyd, a man who was suffocated to death for a $20 counterfeit note saying that he was a horrible human being. A woman who went up in front of CPAC and said, I was never a slave in America, as if that's the only form of discrimination is what has led her community to call her not Candace, but Clandis. The first ever female black woman who appears in her rhetoric against blacks calling LeBron James dumb and stupid and an icon to the black community as Clandis. Simultaneously, you have the Jewish community beginning to call her not Candace Owens, but Candace Ovens, because her Goebbels-style rhetoric against Jews, that Jews are nearly all pedophiles. The state of Israel has set up a Theodor Herzl, a pedophile, as a haven for pedophiles. That Judaism is a demonic, satanic uh, cult that only protects pedophiles. And by the way, her absolute obsession with Jewish sexuality and Jewish genitalia, the first uh, lady of France, Brigitte Macron's genitalia is is disturbing. It's one of the reasons I think she hates Sigmund Freud so much, because she's a Freudian field dream in terms of his arguments that the greater the sexual suppression and repression, the greater we see violence. But when you say that the Jews killed JFK because he was about to ostracize Israel, when you invent all of these fabrications out of whole cloth, what is the result? The result is the demonization of Jews that leads to violence. Pierce, just one week ago, two days after, Candace falsely accused me, as she has for two years, of being a murderer, of threatening to kill her something for which she will face legal action because you cannot malign a rabbi and his daughter as murderers. Two days later, I was swatted in my house where five police cars had to break into my house because Mayor Michael Wilds of Englewood, New Jersey, received a, an email arguably from one of Candace's followers after she said essentially what Henry II says, who will rid me of this troublesome priest, which leads directly to the murder of Thomas Beckett, who today is a Catholic saint, of course. We were swatted, and the FBI is now investigating Candace's rhetoric. They're okay. investigating Rabbi everything Shmuley, I'm she interrupting said. Because you've now wait, been, wait, 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 wait. Just wait, wait, one, final, for three one final point. So Candace will get exactly the okay. same amount of time. It's up to you, but it's an opening statement, right? And what I would say... May I... May I, may, 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 may I yeah, may well, I just say finally, if I may? Well, if it's quick, the yeah. biggest issue I have with the, the biggest issue I have with Candace, to be honest, is that she claims to be a Christian. Candace, didn't Jesus say you're supposed to love your enemies? Is the love you show me that you call me filth twice on the last show that you did with Pierce a piece of filth? You're supposed to love your enemies. Turn, is that turning the other cheek? And Pierce, you're a, you're an English gentleman. I've known you for many years. You allowed her to say that without even a piece of filth when Jesus said that you're supposed to turn the other cheek. Where have you ever turned the other cheek? When Jesus said that the meek shall inherit the earth, the arrogance, the nonstop right. attack against Jews, the demonization. If you are a Christian, then I am the second coming of Christ. Okay, that's four minutes you've spoken to. Uh, out of fairness, Candice, if you want to use four minutes to respond, you can. All I would note, Rabbi Shmuley, is you've spent four minutes personally attacking Candice Owens. I set this up as a debate about what is happening with the Israel-Hamas war, anti-Semitism, and so on and so on. You've turned it all completely, immediately, into an ad hominem onslaught against Candace. How, how, could, how, could you possi how could you possibly say that? 